everyone, this is Hylia here, so I'm officially on Dragon Cave, as you can probably see right now, and I got myself an account, woohoo! So, I basically don't have any friends yet, but I have an account, and I just started getting eggs from random people completing my wish list, and so here are my official dragons. I found this rare little red dragon just sitting on the abandoned pile. Poor little guy. I wonder what gender it'll be. I hope I can breed more red ones to give to people to complete their wish list. Because that is what I am all about. And so I'm just going to show you my rarer, more loved dragons. And my dog, as you know her is Hylia, and when she's not outside playing with me, or, well not playing with me, but playing with my daughter, or, you know, just being filmed, she's in here being a crazy little nutball. We just got back from vacation, and she's having a hard time adjusting, because we had to board her at Pet Shack, which is a lovely place, if I might say so myself. So, back to the drug. This is a Nebula, for those of you that don't play Dragon Cave. And it says, Nebula dragons are nocturnal creatures. With the best eyesight to be found, they are often seen staring into space. Each dragon tends to observe a particular nebula and will eventually change their colors and patterns to match it. As the nebula changes over time, the dragon changes with it. The more intri intricate the design of the nebula, the better chance an individual has of attracting a mate. It is said that the markings on the on new two nebula dragons are exactly the same. What's technically on here is not true, but some of them may have like dots here and there that are different from other dragons. Oh, hi Aaliyah! Ugh, she's licking the floor again. Oh. This is the abandoned pile where I found a lot of my eggs. This is a sleepy time egg. Yeah, I want a sleepy time egg. <laughs> Another one. So this one's a male, and I have a lot of those. See, it says hatching would die if it doesn't grow up in four days and twenty hours. Aw, it's a cute baby dragon. It sleeps a lot, but when it's awake, it's quite a handful. And look, it's grown wings. It must be close to the See the tiny little wings right there? At least I think that's the wings. Right there, right there, probably. I don't know. It says the rest. I don't really care about that. So, anyway. I'm just gonna scroll through. Let you see some of my dragons. Oh, I'm reading white and mint currently. I'm trying to get three, four, five, six of each dragon. So I have enough to breed if people want me to. I haven't bred on request yet because I don't usually have enough dragons to. But if someone wants a particular dragon and it's on their wish list, sometimes they'll gift them one. I found this Magi dragon abandoned too. And this is a Flynage. Came from water and stuff. Alright, so I don't really know what to do, but I guess I can show you some of my minties. Ugh, I can't scroll very well there. This are my minties. This one died because it glitched. The site glitched when I was trying to transfer it to someone else, and it died of some sort of random glitch sickness. I have no idea. But, yeah. And then these are my sleepy daydream dragon thingies that I love dearly. I'm going to see if I can breed either one of them. I'm pretty sure I can, but, you know, it's worth a try. No, I can't breed. Blue sleep. I think that's blue sleep. That's blue sleep. Let's see your waking dream. I can breed her. Ooh. 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 Who do I want to breed it to? You know, I'll wait. I'll probably wait until another video. This is just part one. Well, actually, it's probably episode one of 15 on the Dragon Cave side. Woohoo!
And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this because I have nothing to do. I'll get back to you later. Peace, yo. Hi, Aaliyah. Out.